This is a pretty incredible game. I really hope I can play it without having PowerPoint frame rate and having my computer sound like an airplane. Well, guess what? I have the tips to boost your performance and we're gonna get straight into that right now. Welcome to my desktop. Let's get straight to it. So tip number one. All right, let's start off by pressing Control Shift Escape and opening up the task manager. You can also search. So what you wanna do is filter by CPU and see what's taking up a lot of space. Let's say Discord over here, hey, get back here. And then you're just gonna click end task or press delete. And now you freed up some space on your CPU. Tip number two, download Blockstrap, please. It will help you so much. All right, so tip number three, this is only for those who have an NVIDIA uh, GPU. So click show more options and then open the control panel on your computer. You're gonna wanna go to manage 3D settings, program settings. As you can see, I already have put it here. So what you wanna do is click add and then find Roblox game client or block strap and just add the selected program and you're good to go. However, join the game, see how it goes. If it's still the same, you can tinker with these settings and see what happens, but otherwise you should be fine. Force tip. Uh, thanks to this guy for showing me how to do it. So what you want to do is open up the block strap menu, click fast flags, fast flag editor, import JSON. And then what you're going to do is insert this thing right here. So we're going to do that right now. I don't have a copy and paste it. Oopsie daisy. We're going to paste it right here. And what this is going to do is make it so Roblox uses your GPU instead of your CPU, or at least prioritize it more. However, this is pretty buggy. So if you try it and something bad happens or whatever, just turn this off and turn this off and you should be good to go and safe. All right, final tip, uh, make sure you have Roblox open. I want you to go back to task manager and then we're gonna go to details and then block strap or Roblox, click those. And then you're gonna click here, set priority and then you can change these. I'm not entirely sure if it actually works or not. However, just try it, see if it works. If it doesn't, then just close it. It will immediately just put it back to whatever priority it was. And that's pretty much it. That's all the tips. Now let's go back in game. Now back in the game, what you want to do is you're going to go to settings and then you're just going to go to gameplay. Turn this on if you want to actually check your frame rate. Debug is pretty laggy, so be careful with that. And then videos, uh, tinker with all of this, see if it helps out. If it doesn't, then... Uh, I don't know what to tell you. However, that's all you can really do to optimize this game. So as long as you're hitting a hundred frames, you're pretty much good to go since that's like the average. For me, I have a 4K monitor and I'm running usually around 180, which is above my 160 Hertz monitor. So I'm perfectly fine. However, for those with a higher Hertz rate or whatever, uh, there's not much you can really do. However, uh, uh -oh. however, um, that's pretty much all you can do for this game for optimization. Uh, Silver is still coming up with some other ways to uh, optimize the game. So sorry if none of my tips helped out. I hope this works for you. If it doesn't, I apologize and uh, happy black outing. Uh, and also please subscribe by making some new animations. It would be super cool if you did. Blah.